All right, for the first time I'm foiling and uh, this is because there are ideal conditions today. There are no waves, 11 to 12 knots, there are a few foilers out there. It's just barely enough wind to get started. This is the foil. It basically looks like a fighter jet and it follows the same uh, methodology that once you accelerate, you uh, get some upstream underwater and the foil lifts the whole board out of the water. And that's why you can surf with way less wind than normally. What is important though is that you always keep the waterline uh, almost at the middle of the fin. This is because if you get up too high, uh, you have not enough power in the water to keep the momentum. They also gave me some advice, for example, I shouldn't do the water start. It's too difficult for a beginner and the risk is that the foil uh, leaves the water and hits you in the face. So that's why I do the classical start with the uphole line. Uh, furthermore, uh, I should always keep my front leg in the foot strap and I should keep my back leg straight. I should have my hands closer to the mast and uh, have the boom a little bit higher than usual. And a very interesting advice is that I should always keep my hands on the boom, even if I fall over or I, keep, um, or I fall backwards, because it's always safer to fall on the sail or backwards on your back instead of dropping the material and risking that the foil uh, leaves the water and hits you in the face, for example. I got hit with my leg. All right, I'm curious. I've never done it before. I hope I can do it all right. We see what happens. Sometimes when there's a gush, I do the natural thing. I try to bear off, get some speed. But with the foil, the whole board suddenly gets out of the water. It's super weird. And as a result, I lean back to get more stability. But actually, the whole board turns to the wind. And not my, uh, and not like directional, but it's basically rolling. And this rolling lets the whole board drop into the water. At least the tip. Let's take a look. Thank you. 
nein, nein, nein. Hi guys, I'm back in my hotel room. I gotta tell you that hydrofoil was not the very best idea of my life because I got hurt. I got a cut on my foot from the hydrofoil. What happened was that I didn't crash, but uh, in the water I had to turn around the board and I had to turn around the sail. And while doing so, and while pedaling with my legs, I actually uh, hit the, the foil and it's sharp as as a knife. Anyway, I think the hydrofoiling was a lot of fun. It was a very different feeling that I tried to describe, especially when you had a gush. You shouldn't really lean back that much. It's more of like a half wind direction. You have to keep your legs, legs straight and then you always have to balance on how you keep the board, right? A little bit up and down, trying to keep it stable. Sometimes I struggled that I was like going up too far and leaning too far uh, to the direction of the wind, overshooting and turning my direction and then crashing. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I would definitely try hydrofoiling again, but I would recommend using a long sleeve neoprene suit and some neoprene shoes. So this doesn't happen. All right, see you next time. <laughs>